everybody. How are you guys doing? I am coming to you live tonight. I'm going to paint the Firecracker Patriotic Hat. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's been a good day. Although, I thought I lost um, a file today that I had worked and worked and worked and worked on, but turns out I didn't lose it at all. So, how are you guys doing? I'm going to get my little trusty lazy Susan. I just Windex this. I actually base coated this a while back. I just haven't gotten to it. Hey, Debbie, how are you? And uh, we're just red, white, and blue with some yellow. So, hi, Bryce. How are you? And Kim, how are you doing? Boo, she says. All right, so we're going to do the uh, Patreon cap, and it's really easy. So I base coated it red, white, and blue, and I did my letters yellow. Let me get some of this. I'm going to do a little bit of shading on this. Uh, oh, I had all this. On the... Uh, dark blue. And on that dark blue, or actually it's called brilliant blue, and on that brilliant blue, I'm going to do some shading, and I'm going to mix uh, a dark navy blue with a little bit of black, and I'm going to make it a really dark, dark, dark blue. Hey, Crystal, how are you? I am going to do a little bit of shading on this thing, and y'all are going to see, we're actually cutting these tomorrow. And for those of you that don't know, we are now cutting blanks on demand. So that means that if you want to order something, and in the past, if we were out of stock, we were just out of stock. But now we are going to go ahead and take orders if you want to order. And then we, if we don't have it in stock, we go ahead and cut it. You just have to give us some time to, um, to cut it. And then we will email you and tell you your order is ready. So if you happen to order blanks on our website, don't come to the store and pick them up until you hear from us. We will call you and let, we will actually email you and let you know. So I just took some navy blue and I shaded it and I put some black in there, stirred it up, and that's what I used to um, shade that brilliant blue. I base coated it in what's called brilliant blue. Thank you, Debbie, for that. I appreciate that. All right, so now I'm gonna wash this brush out Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on, y'all. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and do this dark blue right here on this white. There we go. Kind of get some more color on there. Okay. I'm going to wash it out again. And then I'm going to pick up some shading red. Here we go. Debbie posted that for me. Thank you so much. And we have been doing lots of cutting of blanks the last couple of days. Um, actually, I, and I've been designing like crazy the last week or so. My brain feels kind of dead. But we got some really good things coming for Christmas and for Halloween. And then y'all, in my world, it's never too early to work on Christmas and Halloween because it, it really does take us all year to get all that going. So I designed a lot of stuff in the last week or so. And uh, nothing like trying to get excited about Christmas when it's 90 degrees outside. <laughs> it's just been, it's hot. Hey Tammy, hey Dan, how are y'all? I am doing this patriotic hat with the firecracker, I call it the, the firecracker hat. And to me, it's, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna put some shading red on these stripes. Notice I'm not, I'm not doing anything to the white because I've got so much color on here with this red. You start trying to do anything to that white and then you just, everything gets way too dark on you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it. I think we got that. I'm gonna pick up my script liner. I've already put some water in here and I'm not gonna shade USA. And the reason I'm not gonna do that, it's kind of small. You start shading that and then you get uh, shading yellow everywhere and it covers up my primary yellow, my base yellow. And I don't really, it's just not big enough to do a lot of shading. So all I'm gonna do on the letters, so I'm just gonna outline them with this script line. That's all I'm gonna do. And I think that that's all they need. A Little bit of outlining on them, that's it. So, um, Y'all, I've been talking to Bruce, and I'm really excited about we 
are going to look at purchasing a laser. And uh, so we were talking to the company today. If we get to go ahead and do this, because I think we're going to go up and visit with them next month. But if we get to go ahead and do it, it we won't actually get to pull the trigger on it till Christmas, around Christmas time. Because it's going to take us up a while to get a place to put it. But a laser would really let us do a lot of things that we want to do that we can't do now. So really, it's for more indoor projects and intricate detailed cutting. Whereas on a CNC, it's going to be hard to get any intricate detailed cutting. And y'all, it's always fun to do something new or something you've never done before. And so we've been talking about that. And I'm hoping that everything goes through the way we think. Looks like we're going to go visit them in probably June and do like a demo. And um, make sure we know what we're getting into. Because anybody can buy anything, y'all. But that doesn't mean you can operate it. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. So, we are going to go and see them and do a demo in June. And if we like what we see, all that good stuff, probably going to get a laser. And I'm super stoked about that. Because there's all sorts of projects that you just can't even imagine what that laser can do. All right. So I'm just coming back with my script liner. Outline that red. That's really all I'm doing. And even though it's shading red, it's very dark. So it's almost, it almost looks black from a distance. But that's okay. I like that. I like that uh, shading red color. And I just take my uh, brush and go right over that CNC line a couple of times if I need to just to get enough paint to cover all of that. And see how when you start outlining like that, it just really makes this whole thing look really finished. One thing I will tell you, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, I painted this gray, a solid gray, all over and let that dry. And if you'll do that, then when you start painting your red on and even the white and the blue are gonna look a lot better. But it's mainly, you mainly do it because of the red. Red is really hard to cover. You cannot hardly get red to cover white. That's why. A sugar daddy to buy you a laser. Exactly. Well, you know, I really wanted one for a while, but our problem hasn't been the laser per se, as it has been um, a place to put it. Because uh, we don't have a lot of space because we've got so much stuff. But um, I, I was talking to Bruce about it, and, and you know, he at first he was kind of like, eh. so he's like, show me what, what you can do with it that we're not doing now. So, of course, I have to show him all these files that I could cut if I had a laser. He's, he's like, oh, that is kind of neat. The good thing about the laser, though, y'all, is um, it's a smaller machine than what the CNC is. And so, you know, it's not nearly as expensive as the one is what, you know, us purchasing a CNC would be. So that's good. And um, it, the material that you use on, that we would use on the laser is, is a more economical material. Hey, Ava, how are you? And so you don't have to charge near as much. Uh, so like when you're cutting MDO, it's a half inch material. It's a hardwood, if you would. And so you have to charge more because it costs us more. But with a laser, you, now I'm not saying you can't use expensive material on a laser. You absolutely can, but that's not what we would do. We would use MDF, and so then you're, you don't have as, as much expense. And, and of course, it's all indoor stuff. It would be a lot of indoor stuff. Okay. All right, y'all. Look at my hat. There was not a whole lot to it. But watch what happens to this guy when we put some white on I gotta put some water in here, y'all. Now, for those of you that are in the academy, if you're on tonight and you're in the academy, I'm going in the academy uh, right after this and doing bow making. I told y'all yesterday I was gonna do one on bow making and I meant to do it earlier today, but got busy. So I'm gonna do it here in a little bit because this, this is a, a short, quick tutorial video on how to paint a firecracker hat, but there's not much to it. 
so it doesn't take long. Look at all the white I put on here, y'all. But I like to do that. I like to put a lot of white on whatever I, I'm doing. To me, it just kind of brightens it up. Not saying that you have to do that, but that's just what I like to do. And I'll turn this around like this. Hmm, I didn't realize that I made a mess over here with this white. I guess the when I was stirring it, some of the drops went that way. I'll fix that tomorrow. Let me just dry. Y'all, I think I'm gonna do it all here on this too. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some white on these letters, just to kind of brighten those letters up. Just, and I'm not doing a lot. I'm just kind of putting a little bit of white in there. Okay, y'all. That was it. I think this is probably the shortest tutorial I've ever done. There's my firecracker hat. Not a whole lot to him, but you get the point. He's, he's really cute out in the yard. And uh, we have these uh, blanks at the store. Or if we don't, you can go ahead and order them because we are now letting y'all order whatever you want in blanks. And we'll cut them. Thank y'all for hanging out. And I, yeah, in about 10 minutes, I will be in the academy doing bows. So y'all, if you're in the academy, come see me in 10 minutes. See y'all later. Bye-bye.